Interesting story here. Researchers at the University of Florida are working on a new way to keep non-native species out of Florida before they can become a major problem, both on the health and the economic front. It's important work, and they have close ties here to the Bay Area. Let's find out more now. Fox 13's Josh Cassio is live in Hillsborough County to explain what they're doing. Josh? Yeah, you know, Chris, here in Florida, you don't have to go too far to see the damage that non-native uh, species can cause. Oftentimes, you can go out in your own backyard and see some of the damage. Now, what these researchers from UF are doing is they've created a tool that policymakers across the globe can use to try to keep these invasive species out. And all that work, much of it being done right here in Tampa Bay. For quite some time now, Florida has faced a real battle with some invasive species. Think about pythons, think about lionfish, some of those big, high-profile invaders. From the environmental impacts to the sheer cost of trying to deal with them, it can be a real drain on state and local resources. It's something Jeff Hill and his team have been studying at the University of Florida's Tropical Aquaculture Lab in Ruskin. We can use the, the science that we've gained really worldwide to be able to try to predict what species are going to be a real problem if they get loose in a certain area. They've turned that knowledge into a toolkit, a scoring system, so to speak, to identify some of the worst of the worst invaders worldwide. They've identified at least 33 non-native aquatic species that pose what's considered a, quote, very high risk of becoming invasive. Not all of them, of course, will affect Florida, but some, like the cane toad, already have. Policymakers and various agencies can then take this information to create rules and regulations aimed at keeping the invaders out. This is an international effort. It's cheaper to do this than it is to go out and try to, you know, find find these things. As we've already experienced right here in our own backyards. Now, it's been estimated that invasive plants cost Florida about $100 million a year. Some say uh, animal management far exceeds that number, Chris. Back yep. to you. It is a big problem, an expensive one, and uh, good to see that there are some smart people out there working on solutions. Thank you, Josh.